Okay. New England clam chowder. All right, let's get this. Let's jump right in. Celery. Make batons from batons. We just make a nice coarse chop for soup. Get that set aside. Go to my Spanish onion. Split and peel. Sharp knife. Bang through these onions. Big coarse chop for soup. Marbled potato. Split in half. Nice assortment. Beautiful color. New board. New knife. Applewood bacon. Thick cut. Big. Bold. Beautiful chop. That's going to be the start of our clam chowder. The building blocks to the bottom beat of this great dish. Hot pan over two flames. Ooh, that was hot. Get this bacon rendered and a little bit crispy. Pour off almost all that bacon fat. Add shallots, whole butter. Work that around a little bit. Now I'm gonna add all of my aromatics with a little bit of peeled Yukon gold to give some creaminess and bottom beat. Now goes the white wine, boom. Get all of that off the bottom, deglaze. When somebody says deglaze, that's what they mean. Now you see the butter I put in there? I put another half pound of butter, I'm gonna let it dissolve. Now, three cups of all-purpose flour, and that's gonna build our roux right inside of all of those aromatics that have been sauteing in bacon fat and butter. All right, in with the clam juice, can number one. Clam juice number two. The whole objective is to bring all the flavor, everything we started with, bring it into our chowder. You can see it's starting to thicken up nicely. Clam juice number three. It's thickening nicely. Keep working it. Get anything that's still stuck to the bottom up. Here we go with frozen ocean clams. So much better than the canned ones. I've got about five pounds in there. Whole milk is going in one whole gallon. In goes our bacon that we cooked earlier. s and going in. The rest of our potatoes. Some whole cream to give it that nice silky mouthfeel that we love about chowder. Adding fresh chopped thyme. Chowder's gotta have some Tabasco. A good eight to 30 shots of Tabasco ought to do it for a pot this big. All right, now check this. Look how beautiful that is. Woo! Bonus round. All right, let's upgrade this to baller status. Screaming hot pan. That pan's been on an open flame for about 20 minutes. Get some wine in there. Get some whole clams in there. Some leeks in there. Some shallots in there. Let it steam with the other pan over the top till them clams open and pop. Now you've got the white wine, all that clam liquor. Now that beautiful chowder we just made to put in to satisfy the needs of the most voracious feastaholics out there. Plate up time. Let's get this. All right, look at that. Oh my God, this is so good. Love chowder. Clean that plate up a little bit. Man, first place I'm going, some bread dipping in it. Woo, man, you know you want that. 